YouTube land, what's up? It's your girl Makar from Cougar's Closet. How y'all feeling tonight? So listen, tonight I am going to be talking to you about the month of May and what you can expect. Now, this is going to be geared mostly towards singles, some couples that's not together, but they are on and off of again, and they've been for years. Um, some marriage couples, um, there could be a switch that gets flipped out of anywhere. So uh, that's what we are going to be talking about, what challenges you can face for the month of May. So y'all, let me get started by saying this here. We are in Taurus season. Yeah. So if y'all notice, the air is kind of stout. Do you notice the stoutness in the air, the stiffness in the air? That's those Tauruses. Those, that's those bulls. That's the energy they're pushing out here. They're roaming in herds, you know, and they're masculine. They're nothing but muscle. And, you know, the ones on the, on the outskirts to the left, they looking to the left. And the ones on the outskirts to the right, they looking out to the right for the enemies. And the ones that's busting head on, they looking head on for the man. So everybody's looking. But so that's the type of energy that they're releasing out here. Stoutness and stiffness and kind of like Debo-ish energy. They, they got their pressure on. Uh, this is Taurus Moon. Taurus rising and Taurus sun. If you have any of these in your charts, oh gosh, could you please uh, release some of this pressure? I mean, it's just too much heavy weight and dead weight and active live weight. Just you, just all muscle, and we can feel you out here. It's stout. But anywho, so. What I want to talk about is some things that, like this, that can occur for the month of May. If you have um, a lover that you have been on and off again for the last, you know, 20 or 30 years, that energy could resurface. And so, um, when the energy resurfaces, you're at a standstill. Because you're not feeling the way you used to feel about uh, some of these people that's making a return. And so you're at a crossroad because you see the benefit in it. But then again, you, the benefit ain't worth the headache. And so the feeling was never mutual. So um, you just got what you could get out of it, you know. That's the type of energy... Um, we can expect from May. Uh, there might be, uh, old couples, old people, ex-lovers getting in contact with you, uh, for the month of May, but they have an obsessive energy about themselves. Yeah, obsessive. So, these are people that wronged you in the past. But for some reason, instead of them coming back, bowing down gracefully, they're going to twist the game and make you feel like you need them. Um, There can be some arguments out of nowhere with people that you are tied to from your past, but y'all ain't even talked to each other in years, but... When they find you, it's like they come at you like you have a price to pay for all the hell they went through after they left you and just jumped up and left for no reason. There's going to be people getting in contact with you just to see if they can come back for the month of May. It's just a... It's, 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 a, it's a mysterious obsession energy while this tour season is going on. I like the 
think these tours, these bulls, these buffaloes or whatever, these big masculine buffalo bill bulls or whatever they are, they're just throwing their weight around. So I don't know. What do y'all think? But um, there are some people that might have to end up calling 911 for the month of May on their significant other. They might flip out out of nowhere. There's other things that that could be about that brings that on, but that's a deeper door that I'm not going to open. And plus, there's many things behind these doors. So every uh, story isn't going to be the same. I'm sorry, y'all have to step over here sometimes and twiddle my throat. For the month of May, people are going to be calling, getting in touch with you that you haven't heard from in years. And some are just really coming to see uh, how you are doing and you guys exchange, you know, how your mom doing or no, my mom's no longer and how the kids doing, how old are they and how your family doing, that type of deal and, and catching up. Uh, on the route they went, the route you went, and just have a, a genuine conversation. But in the background, maybe some questions pop up, but then at the same time, we better not entertain that. For the month of May, May is going to be a month that is really going to cause you to really have to stay focused is basically what I'm trying to say in a nutshell. The month of May brings on a lot of distractions. And you have to know when you are being distracted. Uh, for the month of May, you're going to have to uh, let some phone calls just go unnoticed for the month of May. Because month of May got this wind blowing, and it's a nice wind, and it's a warm wind, it's a cozy wind. But at the same time, you don't, it, it feels so good, you don't understand that you are getting wind burned. So it has, you know, a, a sandpaper feel to the air. So with the month of May, basically, in a nutshell, you have to stay focused because there are going to be a lot of distractions coming out of nowhere. Um, things that don't have to do with you type of distractions. Uh People coming back wanting to see if they can use you type of distractions. People coming back wanting to see if they can still play mind games with you type of distractions. They've been doing something for a month that, that you ain't heard from them yet. And then when they call back, they still don't have what you need type of energy. But they want to distract you. So, y'all, you know, don't say I didn't warn y'all about this previously before. If you go through some of my videos, I'll tell you when we're about to come up on some of this stuff, when we're coming up on some of this stuff. You know, uh, there's people for the month of May that's going to be reaching out to you in guilt about things that they've done to you, and they're hoping you don't remember. But hey, forgive and go on. It's not like they're coming in your house. It's not like you're going to theirs. You know? So, 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 for the month of May, it's like your mind will be moving into the mechanics of things. You are trying to figure out about the timing belt, about, you know, the axles, about the struts, 
you know, the mechanical parts of this stuff is going to be rolling. Because it's going to be some mechanical things and some mechanical issues coming at you in a spiritual form. And so you got to figure out how to get the proper potion going, right? And so for the month of May, I think it would be best to just uh, lay low, don't answer too many phone calls, uh, don't get overwhelmed because also another thing that I'm noticing with this energy, it brings on a lot of paranoia and it brings on a lot of mental conditions and anxieties. Uh, per, extra sweating and perspiring for no reason. It's just one of those type of energies where you can't lay a finger on it, but it's close enough like Scorpio energy, if I had to say so. Something like that. But not the same. Well, anywho, don't let me take up any more of your time. I just want to get you guys prepared for um, what could go on in the month of May. Uh, you and your couple, uh, partner, could be at odds. Somebody might want to go do some fuck shit and get busted for the month of May. Well, take your ass in a doghouse. It'll blow over. It's macho energy out here. This this is the type of I do what the hell I please type of energy out here. These 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 bulls. Oh well. Anywho, if you like my video, please like, please share, please subscribe. This is for entertainment purposes only. And this is for a good half of my people. What you can look for for the month of May. Mwah, cougar's closet.